unbelievable article in serious trouble as his party rises against him. Some members have said, you have no right to continue in what you were doing. You have no right to behave, you know, uh, in trying to destroy the party. You left in 2015. You went ahead and you supported Buhari. Uh, today, you are back. The person that kept the party together, instead of minding your words, okay, you are trying to make peace, not to cause more harm. What did you say? I did not pick you because you have a very... A troubling personality and I can't work with you. Does that make sense? It doesn't in any way, form or kind. Now, these are some of the things that are going on and um, some of the accusation against him is that he leaves the country and return once in every four years. Once in every four years for him to contest, you know, an election and, you know, um, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not right. It's not right at all. You can't be leaving and coming once in every four years to contest an election and think that everything can just go on smoothly because you say so. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Atiku cries out, I have never been in Dubai for more than one month. Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, has said that he has never stayed in Dubai for more than one month apart from the time he spent for his master's degree there. The former vice president of Nigeria said this during an Arise TV interview on Friday. He was responding to a question on impression that he spent more time in Dubai than in Nigeria and he only returns to Nigeria during elections. He does, he's, he's never there when the party is going through a lot. They go through all the battles and when it is time for elections, he comes to want to become the president. Some members of his party says they don't trust that he has the heart, love of the country in his heart. The presidential hopeful said there is no fixation about Dubai. It is just the handiwork of the media. Yes, I was in Dubai for a stretch. I used the period to do my master's. That is the longest time I have spent in Dubai. Otherwise, I have never been to Dubai for more than a month. So it is a fiction or creation of the media impression. Many political opponents keep talking about Dubai and so on and so on. I have never stayed there for more than a month and I think it is totally unnecessary because all they are trying to do is to dent my image and to cause me harm. I do not subscribe to some persons trying to take over that which belongs to me and just do whatever they want to do because they feel they have that to do. It is not right. It is not, it is not what they should be doing. I have never been there for more than one month. So members of his party are truly and sincerely unhappy with him uh, regarding some things that have happened and are saying, we, 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 PDP members are saying they don't trust him. And this, this are bordering from the fact that, you know, um, Atiku was, you know, after the 2019, he disappeared. After the 2019, the guy just disappeared. And since then he has really not been around. And when it's time for election, then he comes around. So the conclusion from some quarters has been that he only comes in when there is election. And after that, he's out of the place, he's out of the country. And that's what he does best. And so these are some of the things that are going on and why, you know, Nigerians are saying, you know, especially those of his party members are saying, Atiku, we don't trust you. We don't trust that, you know, we can't, we, we can't trust you to be Nigerian's president. Because it feels very much like you only come for what you want, not because you, you care for the nation or you are trying to remedy or rescue the nation by your actions. It is showing that you have other interests at heart. So these are some of the things that are going on and why Nigerians are particularly watching and seeing you know, some of the things that are going on. It was on Chinese TV to clear the air that um, he has not been out of the country for a particular period of time. And every other word being said are just some people trying to, you know, uh, shut down his personality or make it look like, you know, make it look like um, 
he is not the right candidate, he said, but the truth is that he has never been to Dubai for more than a month. And anytime he's been there, he's been there strictly on business. And when it is time, he leaves and that's all. And there's nothing more. So that's Atiku Abubakar for you, the presidential candidate of the uh, People Democratic Party. And um, he, he, he himself, I mean, some words he said about Wiki today, as kind, I've kind of, uh, you know, set the, ma the matter in a different uh, pedestrian altogether, saying that Wiki, okay, knew some Wiki, um, knew some Wiki, you know, he said he has a strong personality. He did not reject Wiki. He only chose the person he can work with. So rather than thinking that he has... Uh, you know, he has done something uh, that everybody should understand. He has actually, you know, set the balls rolling in terms of bringing in more confusion and making things more terrible, so to say. Okay, making things much more terrible. So these are some of the things that are happening and everybody is particularly watching and saying and asking. So where do we go from here? If in your party you cannot get yourself together, your party members do not trust that you have the love of the nation in your heart and that you can make a difference. So why should we, okay, why should we trust you? Why should we, you know, uh, want to vote you in when you have issues in your very own party that has not been sorted out? Okay, you have issues with your very own people that you have not sorted out. And yet, okay, you want every other person, okay, to believe you. So these are some of the things that are going on and why we all need to rise up to the occasion. Okay, we all need to rise up and be sure who we are voting for. We must be absolutely sure. We must not vote for just anybody. We must vote for the right candidate. Okay, we must vote for the right candidate. Okay, so this is what is happening. Well, my wonderful people, it is high time to begin to do that, which is, which is right for our nation. Let's not pick just anybody because um, we must pick somebody. Let's pick a man or a woman. Okay, who is absolutely ready and has the mind and heart to make this nation a better place. Okay, we must do what is absolutely right and necessary for Nigerians to move forward. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. It is important that we vote in the right candidates, every one of us. Because if we don't, it's going to be another period of time. We're going to be spending a whole lot of time doing absolutely nothing. Okay? Look at the country. Things have deteriorated instead of moving forward. God bless. Bye for now.